Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So today what I'm going to do is talk about what programming language should you learn as a beginner? Now I've got this question from friends and family, but also you guys in the comments who have asked me which programming language should you learn first, uh, and really how you go about starting learning how to program. Now I've taken this graphic from online and it shows the most popular programming languages of 2016. And as you can tell, this is from Code Eva, by the way. And as you can tell, Python is the most popular and they're after Java. Now you've probably seen many images like this. Some other images might say that Java is the most popular. Um, you've probably seen them. If you have seen them, let me know in the comments below. The key thing is to not let images like this be the deciding factor for which programming language you choose to learn first. You shouldn't rely on images like this. You know, a lot of them will tell you different things, as I already mentioned. So how do you decide? Well, there's a question that you need to ask yourself. Why is it that you want to learn how to program? And often the answers to this question, in my experience, have been either that someone wants to make a mobile app, they want to create a website, or they just want to try it out. They see that programming is becoming more and more popular, and it seems to be everywhere and it seems to come across as a skill that will help in any job. So once you know the reason why you want to learn how to program, so say for example, you want to create a website, then from there it's much easier to figure out what programming language or languages are relevant to be able to help you to do that. Or if it's a mobile app, you it's a completely different set of languages that will help you create a mobile app. And in some cases, you can use the same language for different jobs. So let's have a look at the different languages that I use today. Now on this slide, what I have is the different use cases. So for example, if you're looking to make mobile apps, so if you're looking to make a website, or if you're looking to automate tasks or do some low level networking stuff, then um, we have different languages there at the bottom. But to start off, if you're looking to make an Android app, then Java is the language for you. It's one of the most popular programming languages today, and it's taught in many computer science schools. So if you wanna make an Android app, you're looking at Java. If however you want to make an iPhone app or an iPad app or anything for Apple devices then you're looking at Swift. Swift is a new and improved version of Objective-C which was the previous language used by Apple and that is a language you want to be looking at if you're looking uh, to make iPhone apps. Now if you're looking to make a website there's a bit more to it. Websites are slightly more complicated there's many more languages involved um, but if you're a beginner starting off, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, those are the buzzword programming languages that you need to be looking at. They are the, HTML is the bare minimum that you need to know to construct a web page. What I'll do is in future videos, I'll be looking more at website development. So I'll talk about how to make simple web pages used to H, using HTML, how to style them using CSS, how to add some interaction using JavaScript. Um, but yeah, if you want to be looking at website development, these are the key languages that you need to start looking at. And finally, if you're slightly unsure about what you want to specifically do with when learning programming, or you just want to get a feel for it, then I'd probably recommend you try Python or C. I'd probably edge more towards Python. It's slightly easier in comparison to C. I personally prefer Python. You can do so much with it everything from writing scripts that can automate everyday tasks like maybe i don't know turning on your computer and sending an email or making it shut down at a particular time or you know you can there there are endless possibilities but equally you can also use it for other things like making websites or data manipulation it's a very popular language it's becoming more and more prevalent in the computer science community as well as programming community and uh, it's a beginner friendly language. I found it pretty easy to pick up. Again, you know, I'm, I've got a slight bias in that I've had previous programming experience, but even as a beginner, it's becoming more and more popular in beginning programming schools and as well as YouTube and other websites. So I'd definitely recommend you check out Python. Um, if you're not sure exactly what you want to do uh, and you just want to get a flavor for programming, then I'd definitely recommend looking at Python and uh, there's a little pop-up that's just popped up <laughs> on the video there which will direct you to my python tutorials which you can find on my youtube channel where i go right from the beginning in setting up and writing your first python program now that you've got a better understanding of the different programming languages and what they can be used for um, how do you go about actually learning the program and what I'll do is I've given you a couple of options here. So the first one is a beginner programming tutorial series, which I made 
a while ago actually but it got a lot of good feedback and in that series I went over you know beginner programming fundamentals so not to, not specific to any particular language but just how you would go about understanding some of the fundamental concepts that are used in programming and that got really good feedback it was independent of any particular language and the idea was that you could get a flavor of how programming works and you know the different constructs within the next option is you can get stuck in straight away and that's where I'd recommend Python. I've got I've got another link here so if you click that link that will take you to some Python tutorials. And then the last option is if you want a much more extensive range um, then Code Academy is quite a popular website where you can start um, learning or you know there's a bunch of different tutorials. But I'd recommend if you're just a beginner and you're just starting out check out my beginner programming tutorial series or if you want to try out Python then do click the link below. So that's the end of this video. Please do hit that subscribe button so I can get more videos out to you guys about beginning programming. And as always, if you have any questions, if you're unsure about something, post a comment on the video below and I will definitely reply. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.